It's Joe, just Joe. And I'm back today with another video with my Minnie Mouse ears on. We did get to go to Disney World, I think. I don't know, the one in Florida. And it's the 50th anniversary, so um, they literally, obviously, have a thousand different kinds. But I got the faux leather with the little sparkly bow for the 50th anniversary. Um, it was a very special trip, but anyway. I'm already rambling, so we know what kind of video this is going to be. Um, today, I'm going to get into the Ace Beauty Violet Sage Palette. I'll show you in a second. I'll tell you how I got that, just in case that special's still going. And then, I've got a lot of different things from Shintika, because Teresa is dead, another YouTuber cannot stop raving and talking about that brand and I got suckered in because they never do a sale and they gave her a code for Black Friday so but anyway if you like this type of thing oh I hit the table sorry the phone was shaking I do unboxings I talk about fur babies uh, mental health um, I do a lot of first impression get ready with me kind of deal so if you're into any of that please like comment subscribe ring the bell and let's just get into it so i did go ahead and do some of my stuff and one thing i did want to show is this um hello good stuff glow serum primer by essence um i've only used it today i will try to remember to keep the description below updated if because i have a a scale on what i love and what i didn't love really like the smell and I really like the way that it went on my face. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe Watermelon Serum and it smells just like it. Um, I actually, I'll probably compare the ingredients too and if there's anything majorly different I'll leave that down below. But anyway, so I got these big ears on. I'm not used to that. Um, let's get into it. Um, I have an eye doctor appointment. Thank goodness my eyes have really changed. And um, I've already picked out the glasses uh, on Boo Glam, I believe it was. V-O-O-G-L-A-M. Uh, it was a recommendation from Rhonda Said. I'll try to remember to leave her channel below as long. Also with Teresa is Dead in case you want to check out other Shantika products. Or even Ace Beauty products, because Ace Beauty is another brand that Teresa uses. So, um, anyways, this is the Liquid Luminaire Face and Cheek Illuminator. Um, I couldn't help it. I put a little, I, I took the seal off, put a little bit on my hand, and it was gorgeous. And shockingly, um, like sometimes when you put highlighter on your hand, and you're a mature woman... You'll see all the little lines and stuff, but this one didn't really do that. And it says for, it's an anti-aging face illuminator. I have not put it on my face yet, so let's check it out. I'm going to put a little on the back of my hand because I put just a dab um, when this came in. I put, can you see? I put that much. Um, and it covered the whole back of my hand, so... Hopefully, that'll probably be too much, but let's try it out. I got the color um, Sheen. They had three colors, I believe. And I'm going to do it, apply it with my fingers. I did use powder, blush, and bronzer already, but um, I left the area that I like highlighter kind of open so that the powder would mess this up. It may not mess it up, but just in case. It's, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is what, I mean, it really doesn't, like, right here is the where I do get a few wrinkles. Because I have a full face, I don't have a real bad wrinkle problem. But where I like to wear my highlighter is where my eye creases, and that just melts. Like, you would think... You would think that's my skin. 
I don't know if somebody would know I put highlighter on. If I'm just wearing this, I'm gonna add a Chantecaille highlighter on top of it in a minute. So I really thought this would happen because the way it looks on my hand. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I'm gonna need more. I didn't think about it, but I'm gonna do above my eyes and my little nose and what I do with it. Oh, here it is. I was gonna say, I couldn't have lost it already. <sighs> so I did do a few little um, black shop, black shop, black Friday or, you know, I know that there's a lot of people that don't wanna call it that. That's fine. If y'all don't want me to call it that, I won't. Um, I just don't know what people are calling it besides that yet. You know what I mean? I don't really get online except for YouTube. And I don't know if it's called Anti-Black Friday or if there's another name. Because it, it seems like everything's changing. It. And then also on top of that, we have more days than when I was growing up like what was it small business Saturday and Monday Cyber Monday I, I am we did have that growing up and then Tuesday it, what was it giving Tuesday um the few things I got on Tuesday I did do the roundup option for um certain charities that I believe in and I know that are legit This is so pretty. But most of y'all know, I haven't read a paper, a newspaper, since 1986. No, 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 1996. When I was 16, I decided to stop. And I haven't watched a news forecast, like sat down and watched the news since 1998, when I was 18. And I understand if you don't get it and you think that then how do I know what's going on in the world? Well, we have the internet. So things I need to look up or discover. Um, gosh, it's so pretty. Um, I'll look up or, you know, now that we got new phones, they, it's called news break, I guess. Yeah, news break. It comes across my phone and um, I will see things like robbery and blah 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 if it's in my town and then of course Jason knows that my husband he knows that I don't deal with the news because it, it gets to my mental health honestly but I'll tell you about that in a second um, I'm going to show you this this is too gorgeous not to can y'all see look at that it just looks like my skin but better it's so pretty I went a little crazy on this side but that's fine I fix it with my foundation sponge but if it's something that like I don't know a prisoner escapes armed and dangerous Jason does watch the news and he does keep up with those things so oh excuse me about voices horse my allergies have been kind of bad but since Jason keeps up with it I don't have to worry about it so much and he makes sure I know if there's something dangerous going on or if there's something important I do need to Google and look up for myself so this is the Lotus Radiance highlighter and it's in they might you know sometimes they only have one shade but I think they had it just this Lotus Radiance highlighter this is the pinky toned one I'll show you it's so pretty well oh, wrong way Mary Jo there it goes. But yeah, so that's the way I keep up with that kind of thing. A lot, I, I've had a lot of people disagree with me. Totally fine. Um, and I've had a lot of people call me names and tell me I was ignorant for not watching the news. But um, it's just, I get really... I wear my heart on my sleeve and I get really emotionally involved even though I don't know people these people I don't know maybe the animals are talking about it's just 
when I started um, getting into, I guess what I call toward the adult years of my life, I noticed that it was really messing with me knowing all this stuff. And I won't mention any names and y'all wouldn't know them anyway because it happened when I was, let's see, I think 17. One of my friend's brothers, a dear friend of mine, his brother got busted wearing a coat and going to an elementary school and flashing a bunch of young kids. He did do tons of jail time. I don't know if he got out. I don't speak to that person anymore, not because we don't like each other, but my friend, you know, you just grow up and you live different places and all that, you know. We have no bad blood, but when his brother did that, it really messed me up because I'd hung out with this guy and had Thanksgiving dinner with that guy and I don't know, it really messed with me. So after that, it seemed like the news, I don't know, it just seemed like it got like anything on the news. If something happened in another country, it seemed like my heart would be in my throat and I just couldn't deal, you know? So I have to be really careful. I used to watch a lot of, I'm gonna show you all this too. Look how that just looks like. Of course on my nose I went a little crazy, but it really looks like my skin, but better. I love it. But anyway, um, all this stuff will be listed below. I think I said that, but so I just decided to take a break from the news at that point. It wasn't this huge life decision that I'm never going to watch the news at that point. But so, yeah, I didn't pull brushes out. I should have. A lot of times I'll pull the brushes I'm going to use out so I'm not looking for stuff. But, um, yeah, after I stopped watching for a while, I was like, my anxiety is so much better. Um, and I had some situ other situations come up that ended up on the news. Not with me, but other people. And I just, I don't know. I did not deal with it very well. And so that's when I made the decision that things that needed to be known, I would discover on my own. And luckily at that time, the internet was just becoming kind of popular in households. So because I started college early, even though we didn't have a huge amount of money, I did get a computer because we lived out in the country. It was too hard to go to the computer lab, get back, go to work, and all the things. So my beautiful, beautiful mother did end up getting me a computer, so, and the internet. And even though it was dial up and it took forever, I was able to look up anything I needed to know. And um, so it's just, I don't know, that's just the way it's been ever since. I know that sounds crazy. A lot of people don't get it. But it's, I mean, you know, that's what's right for my life. But anyway, so whoever's watching this, I know Pamela probably is and Lorna probably is. Um, Jen will as soon as she feels better. Um, Rhonda and James probably will did y'all do for Black Friday or whatever you want to call it. Let's say, we'll just say, did you do anything during the sales? That way I'm not hurting anybody's feelings by not knowing what people want to call it. I think, I've heard people call it anti-Black Friday, but I don't know, that sounds weird to me saying it that way. So, sorry, I'm just trying to lighten up this so my face looks a little more chiseled but I I didn't okay I don't want to say I didn't buy a good bit I did I didn't buy a good bit for me 
I'm very pleased with myself. I made a couple of purchases of things that, I would say mostly skincare or things that I needed. Um, and the skincare I wasn't gonna do, but it happened to be some of the stuff that I use every day was on a ridiculous mad sale. So I got a couple things just to have backups. And I'm gonna prime my eyes. No, let's do freckles. I kind of want to do freckles. I have natural freckles, but once I put my foundation on, you can't really see them. It's a little freck pen. I usually mix and match. Like, I use the freck pen, then my eyeliner pen, or whatever, but I'm just going to use the freck today. But, um, so, like the Chanticleer stuff, I got two pair of leggings from Torrid because. We, for those that maybe be new or don't know, we moved not long ago, and we still have boxes in the garage, and I am very much hoping we find my box of leggings and that it didn't go to Goodwill, <laughs> but we have not found my leggings yet, which, I mean, if they went to Goodwill, fine, but, so I did get two leggings while Tord was having their sale. Um, cause this is the only time of year that I really wear leggings and blue jeans. The rest of the year I wear shorts or kind of biker shorts. I like biker shorts, but Tennessee don't have a whole lot of weather that makes me warm. I mean, makes me cool. So today the wind is actually cold. That's why I got this, um, there's, it was called a shacket. I guess that's the mix of a shirt and a jacket, but that's why I got this on. But, um, I would love to hear below what y'all decided to get. Some of y'all have already talked to, or I've seen on your IG stories where you bought stuff. But I did, I can't say on here what I got for people for Christmas because I'm scared to look or watch the video, especially my husband, because I did, um, I, I really did good this year on his part anyway I hope I did if I didn't I'm just gonna throw in the towel and he's just gonna have to get gift cards or something I don't know it's hard because we obviously already have all the things that we actually need um, because we've been together 21 years but um, and then if we actually want for something we usually just buy it, you know what I mean? So it makes it really hard. Oh, I need to hurry up here. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I'm gonna try to keep it under 30 minutes though. But, all right, that's enough, I think. To look like my nat natural freckles as much as possible. But yeah, and then I think, I think almost everything I got, I was able to get the Monday before Black Friday and Cyber Monday because, well, the day of sales. I'm going to end up saying that just because I don't remember anything like that right off the bat. It takes me a while to learn to say something besides what, you know what I mean? But, um... All right, let's do the eyes. But, let's, uh, I finished up. I was, okay, so I was done. But there were some things I thought, if these things go on sale, I know these people like these certain things. So I'll pick it up. And then, of course, anything that we needed, I looked on Amazon. I think that was pretty much it. And then, no, 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 Amazon and like PetSmart and stuff. To see if any of the stuff that we normally use went on sale. And um, we did find a few little things at PetSmart. And um, I got a couple things off Amazon that was kind of like in my wish list. And, and or slash Jason's. Um, possible for Christmas list 
So I added a few things to his Christmas. It didn't have to be done, but I did. Um, I bought, I think, like three things for myself off Amazon that was a good sale. And, um, like, I bought a little brush holder thingy. Um, these are cruelty-free in the back, but I'm going to try to keep my brushes that are not cruelty-free in it. So, when I use them, I can warn people, hey, this is before I realized that so many things were not cruelty-free. Again, that's me being kind of gullible and... I don't know if I want to say innocent at the, I didn't really start wearing makeup till 30. So I kind of, I guess I should have known that they were probably companies that still tested on animals, which blows my mind. But so anyway, I try to keep them separate. So people, I can say, Hey, this is before I knew, um, how that there were so many companies that were not cruelty free. So anyway, I'm going to start on the eyes. I think I'm gonna, there's a sage green and it's called sage. I'm gonna put it in the crease in the outer corner. And then I had to tell my husband he's not allowed to come in this room because I've got everything of his head in this room, but I don't want him snooping. And he usually don't. The, I actually usually give in before he could snoop. I'm like, Oh, you're gonna love this. You want it? You wanna get it today? <laughs> so the advent calendar thingy that we're doing is actually gonna be good for me so that I don't try to get presents early because we're already doing them early just on specific days. <laughs> we divided our advent calendar up. So like December 1st, Jason will get to pick one of the presents. December 2nd, I'll get to pick a present. December 3rd, the cats will get to pick a present. And the 4th, Buddy will get to pick a present. You see what I'm saying? So we all get six presents. And then the last day, we probably won't do it on this day. But we're going to, uh, just, you know, eat or something. Not buy each other thing big because we did a lot this year. And we just bought an old farm truck from... I say farm truck. It wasn't used for farming, but that's kind of the best way to describe it from Jason's uncle so that we have something to, you know, take trash to the dump and stuff like that. But anyway, a long way around. I would love to know what y'all got on sale. That's pretty pigmented. I thought it was going to be lighter, but that's fine. I can work with it. It's just a crease shade. I am going to try to figure out this situation so I don't have to stand up and down not so much. Uh, I know that y'all could zoom in, but let's be real. That's probably not going to happen because we all just want to watch the video or listen to it in the background or whatever, you know. Um, I've been trying to figure out a better kind of ring light camera situation in here. I do have a large window right in front of me. So if it... <laughs> Once it gets sunny enough, I want to see how natural lighting does. But I didn't show y'all the palette. I, the inside, I'll show you. I'm just going under my eye a little bit to kind of like smoke out the bottom lash line with this green just a little bit. I am super excited about ordering my glasses. Like I said, I've already been on mine, picked out the ones I want. I just gotta go today, get my prescription, take a picture and order them. So really excited about that. I got some blush stuck in my eyelash or eyebrow. My eyebrows are definitely not twins. They literally are not related, but that's fine too. They don't bother me that bad. Let me show you the palette real quick so you kind of know what I'm working with. I'm fixing to go into that darker green juniper shade. Look how gorgeous. Let me tell you about this too. So you'll have to Google it. 
to see if they're still doing it or go to boxycharm.com. But the boxy looks I had heard through Instagram and stuff a few um, items that were going to be in it more than likely for most people. So I was like, you know what? I'll just sign up for this and I can cancel later because I haven't been doing subscriptions. And um, I'm thinking about doing one for Buddy, the Bully Breed Bark Box or whatever. And they always say Bully Breed because that means that they kind of chew on stuff. And to kind of take back the word, you know what I mean? But, um, so, it was Boxy Lux Month. And I signed up, and it was like, if you sign up now, you get the Ace Butte, um palette for free. And I was like, yes, I really want that palette, but I wasn't going to buy it. Because y'all know, this palette's purple and green. Y'all know how much I love purple and green. I have every shade of purple and green there is so i wasn't gonna buy it because of that but i mean boxy charms gonna give it to me for free so i did that and then the strangest thing happened okay so they have my money right i've paid they're fixing my boxy looks they're gonna send me the ace bj palette literally like a week later they were like um Welcome back. We've seen that you've been gone and that you come back or whatever. So we've decided to send you a base box for free. So not only did I get the Lux box, they sent me the base box too for free, which it was really good. So I'm shook that they did that even though I'd already paid for the other. They didn't have to use that to get my money, you know? So if you're just thinking about going back to BoxyCharm or starting, or even if it's Ipsy, any of them, put in Google BoxyCharm coupon code or Ipsy coupon code. Sometimes you'll get a percent off your box. Sometimes you'll get free gifts. Sometimes you get both. But, um, so I was really happy with that because that was what, the $49 for all that and this palette's probably 35 to 40 by itself all right I'm just gonna do a shimmer and jump off here because it's almost time I got a fuzzy somehow there it goes um I think I'm gonna do this pretty pink that's kind of got some mm, gold and silver probably with stereo right here I'm just gonna put it on the lid I'm not gonna do glitter glue today just want it to kind of be softer than that wisteria but yeah so i got a great deal on boxy charm this last month but yeah if it's something you're thinking about doing definitely type in boxy charm and coupon code because you want to get all the free stuff and a few of the things i bought from the sale going on this weekend was Like, if you buy $20 worth, we're going to give you a free palette. We're going to do this. We're gonna... Like, this company is really, are really having to push to get their money, you know? And, I mean, I know they overmark stuff, and things are way cheaper than what they sell them for. I know. I worked for retail that the computer showed us what we were selling it for and what the company was paying for each one. That's really cute. I kind of feel like Tinkerbell. <laughs> but, um, I may put, get my depth palette and put a little more sparkle on it. But, um, yeah, so, I did really good, I think, during the sales. I did have a slip up on the Chanticleer stuff. I had only ordered a couple of pieces. And I was just looking through the website. And I was like, I'm going to throw these in the buggy and think about them. Not, I was not buying them. Well, somehow my card was in Google Pay. 
So on my phone, you swipe this way and it takes you back to the last screen. Well, when I did that, I did it too low. Like, let's say the swipe is here because I got a new phone and I swiped here and I hit that Google Pay and I bought that stuff too. So, oh well. Which is kind of funny. I mean, and it's not, it's not going to kill us or anything like that to have a couple more little products that I will very much enjoy. I am going to take that little brush that I had the green on and wipe the green off. These are not cruelty free, by the way, which is sad because they're good brushes, but I am not, the sun's coming in if the lights change. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of that pink down here. So I'm not really promoting these brushes. I don't know why I was so gullible about cruelty free stuff when I first started makeup. But it just doesn't make sense to me. At all. And people are like, well, you know, you don't make up to break you out or do something harmful because makeup used to have lead and things like that. One, we're way more educated than like lead type situations. I'm gonna leave this at this and put a little sparkle on top. And number two, I feel like makeup's kind of a luxury, you know? So if you're gonna test, it should be tested on people. That's just the way I believe. I mean, a lot of people disagree with me. That's fine, everybody's allowed their opinion, you know? All right, let's see. Do I want more sparkle? No, I think I'm going to leave it at this. I, I will be doing my mascara, but ain't that cute? It really reminds me of Tinkerbell for some reason. <laughs> and I've got this little nude pixie liner that was on sale. Uh, Laura May Beauty, I will try to remember to link that too. Um, she uses these quite a bit in her waterline, so I needed a nude one. I decided to try it out. If I can get it out of this box... Ain't that always it? I have talked to a couple of friends about the things that they got, but it seems like none of my friends, and not even, like I said, not even me, did too much during the sale. Maybe that's why they had to promote so much. Because back in the day, people would seek out the ads to try to go to the stores. But now that you got online... I guess it, and there's so much more competition, and, you know, people are not spending as much money right now. Well, at Christmas they are, but in general they're not because of interest rates and all that. I'm going to use this Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. My stomach's growling. Sorry, y'all. Well, I just threw that on the floor. Oh, this is just a standard brush. I'll probably like this mascara. I got to do a declutter, but I haven't done it just because I don't know if I'm gonna record it or not. It's kind of light, but I, I just opened it so the formula is wetter than I normally like, but after you open mascara, if you wear makeup, you know, after a week or two of wearing mascara, the formula thickens and gets a little bit drier and usually works better. Oh, the top lashes are doing pretty good. It's just the bottom ones that weren't great. Like I said, I'm just going to the eye doctor, but I couldn't get back to sleep this morning. So I decided to do makeup. I am glad to see the sun. I'm hoping that means the rain is over. I mean, it was so bad last night that Buddy didn't even want to go potty, which really shocked me because he likes water. But he don't like it all over him and not being able to see, you know. My alarm was going off. There, I fixed it. I don't know how much of that was cut out. My alarm went off and it pauses it. Sorry about that. But the Clinique mascara is fine. 
It's not groundbreaking. I just needed to put my waterproof mascara on. And let's do the lips and let me jump off here and get to my eye doctor. Um, I'm going to use the Chantecaille lip. What do they call it? Lip definer. Like I said, all these products will be listed down below. And oh, I got the kind of brown, rosy color. Um, and it's a sharpable one. I don't really care if it's sharpable or not. I think it is convenient to be. Oh, that's creamy. That's nice. And it's like literally the color of my lips, which I like. I like brown or the color of my lips. But I will put all this down below. And again, I have a little emoji system where it shows if the products were good or not. This, today's Wednesday, I don't know, 29th, 30th, something like that. Let's see. 30th. So this will be a Friday, which I believe, is that the first? Gosh, I cannot believe December's here. So this is a lip cheek in Passion, well, Passion Flora from Chantecai. The little boxes like that. They're, I love their packaging. And I did do the with Chantecai, you can, like if it's 3472, you can do 35 or donate a dollar or something like that. Oh, these were recommended by Teresa is dead. That feels amazing. It's like, if chapstick And lipstick and lip oil had a baby with some color. That's amazing. That's really nice feeling. I hope it, I mean, and it probably won't stay on during eating because I can, it's not gonna dry down, but I hope it don't all come off. So that's what I'm going with. Let's get these ears off, shake out the hair. And let's see, there we go. Just something simple. Gosh, it's almost 40 minutes. Sorry about that, guys, but you know how I am. I like to talk, and I love y'all so much. I love to talk to you guys. But anyways, I'm going to get off here, go get make sure my husband is getting up to go take Buddy Potty and go to the eye doctor. I love y'all. Make good decisions, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.